Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel where we embark on a journey through the darkest corners of crime. Today we delve into the chilling case of Zara Baker, a story that shook the world and left a lasting scar on the hearts of those who followed it. Join me as we unravel the layers of this tragic murder, exploring the shocking events that transpired and the elusive truths that were eventually unearthed. Our tale begins in the town of Hickory, North Carolina, where a bright-eyed and spirited young girl named Zara Baker resided. Born on November 16, 1999, in Wagga Wagga, Australia, Zara battled through a series of adversities, including bone and lung cancer, which resulted in the partial amputation of her leg and the use of hearing aids. Despite her struggles, she embodied resilience, displaying a zest for life that captured the hearts of those around her. To truly understand the circumstances surrounding Zara's disappearance and tragic murder, we must delve into her family's troubled history. Her biological parents, Adam Baker and Emily Dietrich, separated when Zara was just a baby. In 2008, Adam relocated to the United States with Zara, wherein he met his new wife, Elisa, online. Unfortunately, this decision set the stage for a series of disturbing events. Elisa Baker had a history of criminal behavior, including charges of bigamy, financial crimes, and drug-related offenses. Her troubled past raised concerns about the lack of oversight in allowing Zara to be in her care. She was actually already married to someone else when she and Adam Baker tied the knot. In late 2010, the shocking news of Zara Baker's disappearance sent shockwaves through the community. Desperate to find the missing girl, a widespread search effort was launched, capturing the attention of local law enforcement, the media, and the case gained national and international coverage, drawing attention to the heartbreaking fate of this young girl. As investigators dug deeper into the case, they discovered a disturbing trail of deception and abuse within Zara's family. Suspicion soon fell upon Sarah's stepmother, Elisa Baker, as inconsistencies in her statements and suspicious behavior began to emerge. The true nature of Zara's living conditions and the cruelty inflicted upon her started to unravel. After relentless investigation and mounting evidence, the truth surrounding Zara's fate was finally revealed. The unraveling narrative painted a haunting picture of abuse, torture, and ultimately murder. Elisa Baker confessed to the heinous crime, admitting to dismembering Zara's body and disposing of the remains in different locations. Elisa Baker revealed that she had dismembered Zara's body using various tools before disposing of the remains. Some parts of Zara's body were found in rural areas of Caldwell County, while other remains were discovered in different locations. The depth of depravity and the lack of humanity displayed by Zara's stepmother left the world in utter disbelief. The aftermath of Zara's murder trial was a culmination of raw emotions, grief, and the pursuit of justice. Elisa Baker was found guilty of second-degree murder and a multitude of other charges. It was revealed that Zara had endured a tumultuous and abusive family life. She was subjected to physical abuse and neglect. The case shed light on the failure of child protective services and the various red flags that were missed in ensuring Zara's safety. The case shed light on the failures of the system to protect vulnerable children like Zara, prompting calls for reform and a renewed commitment to ensuring the safety of every child. The stepmother of murdered Australian girl Zara Baker will serve at least 14 years in an American jail. In a deal worked out between the district attorney and her lawyer, 43-year-old Elisa Baker pleaded guilty to second-degree murder. North American correspondent Craig McMurtry reports from North Carolina. The gruesome case of the 10-year-old Australian girl, a cancer survivor with a prosthetic leg and hearing aids, who was murdered, her body dismembered, has horrified North Carolina. Nearly a year after Zara Baker's disappearance, her American stepmother, Elisa Baker, shuffled into court, handcuffed and ready to plead. The 43-year-old pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and obstruction of justice. She admitted to physical, verbal and psychological abuse of the child, to hiding and desecrating her body. 
Police say they're satisfied that her Australian father, Adam Baker, wasn't involved in the death, though one investigator told the court they had a hard time understanding how he couldn't have known that his daughter was missing for two weeks. In an emotional statement to the court, Adam Baker accused his wife of destroying his life. There are no words to explain the hate I have for you. Zara Baker's biological mother, Emily Dietrich, called it an act of pure evil. Zara was full of heart, like some human puzzle, and discarded like rubbish for wildlife to pest. There is still no explanation of how exactly Zara Baker died. The autopsy report states it was undetermined homicidal violence. Elisa Baker says the 10-year-old had been unwell, that she found her not breathing and tried to resuscitate her. Police admit she wasn't prepared to say anything else. There's only one person that knows and she's not talking. Elisa Baker chose not to speak before sentencing, her lawyer telling the court she was emotionally devastated and sorry. When it was over, Adam Baker sat stunned. It is bad when you get less than 20 years of taking a child. Zara Baker's family want the 10-year-old's remains transferred to Australia. Craig McMurtry, ABC News, Newton, North Carolina. Zara Baker's case gained significant media coverage, both nationally and internationally. The heartbreaking details of her abuse and murder captured the attention and sympathy of people worldwide, resulting in widespread calls for justice. Due to this case, Zara's law was enacted. The new law makes it illegal to dismember or desecrate a body to conceal it from police. While Zara's life was tragically cut short, her story serves as a reminder of the indomitable spirit that can shine through, even from the darkest of circumstances. Her memory lives on as advocates push for changes to prevent similar tragedies from befalling other children. Her legacy inspires us to be vigilant, to protect the innocent, and to seek justice for those whose voices have been forever silenced. As we conclude this journey through the case of Sarah Baker, we hope to honor her memory by shedding light on the injustice that she endured and by raising awareness about the importance of protecting vulnerable children. A park has been built in honor of her memory. In the wake of such a devastating tragedy, we want to extend our deepest condolences and heartfelt empathy to the family. The loss of Zara, a vibrant and courageous young soul, is an unimaginable pain that no family should ever have to bear. I cannot fathom the depth of your sorrow or the weight of your grief, but I want you to know that my thoughts and prayers are with you. Zara's memory will forever live on in the hearts of those who followed her story, and her spirit will continue to inspire us to advocate for justice and protection for all children. I acknowledge the complexities and challenges your family faced and hope that you find solace and support within your community and the wider world. It is my sincerest wish that you are surrounded by love, compassion, and understanding as you navigate the healing process. I also extend my gratitude to the law enforcement officials, advocates, and individuals who work tirelessly to seek justice for Zara. Their dedication and perseverance are a testament to the value and importance of every child's life. Please know that I stand with you united in our shared grief and a collective commitment to honor Zara's memory. May you find strength, healing, and peace in the midst of this profound loss. The tragic murder of Zara Baker remains etched in the world's collective memory as a haunting reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the vulnerabilities that exist within our society. Sarah's story serves as a call to action, urging us to advocate for the protection of innocent lives and to stand against any form of abuse or neglect. As we reflect on the details of this tragic case, let us also remember Zara for the bright spirit she embodied despite her difficult circumstances. She fought against adversity with a resilience that inspired those around her, leaving an indelible mark on her hearts. While justice was served with the conviction of Sarah's stepmother, Elisa Baker, the pain and loss experienced by Zara's family cannot be undone. We extend our deepest empathy and support to her loved ones, hoping that they find solace in the memories they shared with Zara and in the knowledge that her story has brought about a renewed commitment to protecting children from harm. See something, say something. Call your local police department if you do see something or 911. 
Kiss your babies goodnight and keep them safe.